been living in yourself is more than a sensation. It's a distinctive ability and a deep way of thinking about life. One clear reality in learning about yourself is that how much you achieve depends a lot on how confident you are in your not believing in yourself can quietly wreck your aspirations and dreams. Consider how often innate aptitude, all poised to perform magnificent things, is held back by today's fear and doubt. What is self-confidence challenge? We're looking for ways to become the best versions of ourselves. I'd like to begin by thanking you for watching this video. You're already on the path to enhancing your life through Stoicism. If you're watching for the first time, make sure to like and subscribe. If you find value in these videos, please subscribe and click the bell to stay updated first. Let's find out what self-confidence really means. It doesn't just arise suddenly. It comes from learning to know and accept oneself. According to Stoic philosophy, self-confidence comes from understanding and embracing our strengths and weaknesses and employing them to our advantage. This age-old adage informs us that true confidence comes from within ourselves, not from people admiring or applauding us. Epictus, as a famous Stoic philosopher, argued that instead of stressing about things we can't control, we should focus on what we can change, such as our attitudes, ideas, and actions. In this method of thinking makes us stronger and better able to deal with life's challenges. Another vital aspect of self-confidence is being genuine. It is important to be honest about who you are, what you believe in, and what you truly want. When you live by your own rules rather than what others expect of you, you generate a strong sense of inner serenity and steadiness, which is key to true confidence. Thinking about and judging ourselves is also vital for acquiring more confidence. By looking inside, we can identify what we need to work on and be happy of what we've done well. This continual process of learning and growing helps us realize what we can do and overcome our concern. Being strong when we fail or confront obstacles is also a critical aspect of self-confidence. Stoicism advises us to see problems as opportunities to learn and improve. Accepting and learning from our shortcomings rather than being afraid of them makes us stronger and better prepared for what comes next. Self-confidence, the Stoics said that just thinking about ideas isn't enough. You need to really utilize them, so attempt to use these principles every day by addressing your fears. And by making brave decisions and sticking to your principles, you can gain genuine and long-lasting confidence. First and foremost, understand, understand yourself. Explore what it truly means to be aware of yourself as you grow self-confidence. Stoic self-examination isn't just about studying yourself. It's about discovering who you genuinely are at your heart. The most important thing isn't what you can do, but who you are. Tepictus, a great Stoic thinker, encourages us to look deeply at ourselves to discover our true motivations and worries. True self-confidence comes from this honest and deep understanding of yourself. Consider how vital it is to know yourself well. It's more than just knowing your talents and shortcomings. You need to recognize how these tie to what you believe in the key. How to use this stoic principle is that true self-understanding comes from noticing how your thoughts, feelings and actions match up. This matchup is what makes your confidence so strong. How can we apply this in our daily lives? By reflecting on your initial responses when faced with challenges. Question whether your reactions are impulsive or grounded in genuine beliefs. Self-confidence develops through daily choices where actions stem from self-awareness, not driven by fear or a desire to impress. Contemplate before reacting, pause, and inquire whether your response aligns with your true self and belief. Each deliberate choice not only enhances confidence but also fosters authenticity. Remember, building confidence initiates with understanding yourself a fundamental yet robust step. It's a gradual process requiring patience and, most crucially, self-honesty. 
Along this journey confront harsh realities, discover latent strengths, and unveil unknowns. Recognize that it's acceptable not to have all the answers. Embracing vulnerability and uncertainty is vital for personal growth. This acceptance liberates you to explore new avenues, leading to transformative experiences altering your perception of self and the world. Another pivotal aspect of self-awareness involves comprehending the strength of your thoughts and beliefs. Your self-talk and perceptions significantly shape confidence, influencing how you interpret events and navigate your abilities. If you start using more positive self-talk and questioning your reservations about yourself, you might begin to transform how you think about yourself. Being self-aware also involves summary recognize and appreciate your feelings emotions tell you a lot about what you actually care about and what terrifies you if you listen to your feelings and understand why you feel them you may learn a lot about what motivates you and what you truly desire ultimately recognizing oneself leads to being real sticking to your principles and always being yourself is not always easy especially when others expect you to act a certain way. But by staying true to yourself, you develop more confidence and create better, more honest interaction. To summarize, understanding yourself is key to building strong confidence. As you start learning more about yourself, you not only get better at understanding who you are, but also at getting along with others and seeing the world in a new way. Each step you take in this process helps you become a better version of yourself. Second, recognize that some things cannot be changed. Concentrate on the concept of what you can and cannot control a key. Concept of stoicism doing this properly is particularly vital for sincere and lasting confidence. It's not about giving up, but about accepting things as they are. Epicus, a great stoic thinker, states that what truly matters is not what occurs to us, but how we react to it. Once being okay with what you can't do takes bravery. You can't control everything in life such as what others do or what has already happened. Team, when you accept these limits, you have more energy and focus to spend on what you can change. Your own actions, responses and choices to build your inner strength through acceptance. Since look at your daily activities and notice when you get upset and feel like you can't do anything. Ask yourself, am I trying to control something that's out of my control? Choose by focusing on things you can actually change. Your inner will grow stronger, making you tougher, adaptable, and confident in the end. Real self-confidence stems from a thorough awareness of what you can and cannot control. Can you accept what you can't alter and work on what you can? You not only become stronger and more adaptable, but you also acquire a tranquility that demonstrates true confidence. This is the second tip from Apicus. Accept what you can't change and change what you can. This way of thinking helps you live with more calmness inside. When you accept what you can't control and stop stressing about needing to control everything, you feel more peaceful. This calmness helps you pay more attention to what you do and how you can do it better. It makes you better at dealing with difficult situations. Also, accepting things isn't about doing nothing. It's really about understanding that some things are just out of our hands. This makes us pay more attention to what we're good at and what we can do. Having this mindset makes us feel more in control and independent because it shows us that even though we can't control everything in life, we can always choose how we react in real life. This may mean forgetting about past anger or concerns about what's coming. Understanding that also, being kind to oneself, even when things go wrong, is crucial for growing confidence. Knowing that everyone makes mistakes and that's how we learn keeps you thinking clearly and helps you keep going with purpose. In the end, accepting things helps you live more honestly. When you stop trying to control what you can't, you have more energy to live by what you believe in and follow what you really love. This makes life fuller and more rewarding, and confidence naturally grows from living with honesty and a clear goal. 
to summarize being okay with things you can't control stoic thinking tells us that how good our life is depends a lot on what we focus on. It's about choosing wisely, deciding what's worth our energy and what isn't. As Marcus Aurelius said, our life is shaped by our thoughts. Paying attention to what's really important takes regular practice and self-control. With so many distractions around us, staying focused is difficult. This is where stoic methods really help. By teaching your mind to overlook unnecessary stuff, you get better at first. Figure out what is diverting your focus away, such as social media, teens of worrying too much, or trying to make everyone happy, after you know what they are, take real steps to reduce their effect. This could include having times when you don't use technology or learning to say no to things that don't match what you believe in. You can also get better at focusing by doing certain exercises like meditation is a good way to teach your mind to focus on now. Another useful thing is to decide what you actually need to do each day by asking yourself, what is the main thing I need to get done today? Maintaining this concentration makes everything you do more purposeful and builds your confidence as you live life your way. Keep in mind, focusing isn't just a skill. It's a way of life. By paying attention to what's truly important and dismissing other stuff, you not only get more done, but you also achieve inner serenity, which is incredibly crucial for feeling confident. This is how Stoics understand the value of folk. You're now halfway through this video. Wonderful job on working to improve yourself. If you could leave a comment, it helps my channel a lot. If you're not sure what to say, just type self-confidence is vital. So I know you've watched this far and remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get back to the video. The fourth tip, build your toughness, build your toughness. Stoicism provides us a huge lesson. Toughness is not something you are born with. You cultivate it. Stoic toughness is more than simply surviving terrible times. As Seneca stated, it is not what occurs to you, but how you cope with it that truly reflects who you are in Stoic. It's really vital to learn from mistakes. Every problem or tough situation is actually a hidden lesson when you face hard times. Instead of getting down, think about what this can teach me. Thinking this way changes each mistake into a step toward doing better and helps you get stronger when things are tough. Being resilient really means practicing stoic toughness. You don't run away or be afraid of obstacles. You remember that every time you go through a challenge or face a fear, you become stronger and more confident. Being resilient isn't just about getting through difficult moments. It's about learning to make the most of them. Using resilience every day can seem different. To engaging in tasks you've delayed or confronting significant challenges, such as overcoming a loss, requires adopting a stoic mindset. The key lies not in the events themselves, but in your response to the action when encountering adversity. Approach it with confidence, recognizing that each difficult situation provides an opportunity for personal growth and increased resilience. Stoic toughness involves transforming hardships into sources of strength and turning problems into pathways for progress. To maintain your resilience, and you'll discover the importance of anticipating the future and appreciating how challenges contribute to your ongoing development. Expressing gratitude is another effective strategy for enhancing resilience. Focusing on what you possess rather than what is lacking enables you to maintain a positive outlook even amidst difficulties. This sense of gratitude transforms problems into valuable lessons and opportunities for improvement. Building resilience is not a solitary journey. It thrives with the support of others and a sense of community. Surrounding yourself with individuals who embody stoic toughness provides a valuable framework for navigating life, teaching you to confront challenges, learn from them, and evolve into a more confident and resilient individual. Through resilience, you not only overcome obstacles, but also emerge stronger, more intelligent and surer of yourself. Fifth, when trying to be confident, it's easy to start acting too proud. 
but real confidence doesn't need to be acting humble, which is really important in Stoic philosophy. The choice between humility and arrogance isn't selecting between weakness and power. It's about recognizing your own boundaries and valuing others' knowledge and value. A modest person understands that no matter how much they know or how competent they are, there is always something new to learn and a way to improve. Epictetus tells us that being humble isn't about putting yourself down. It's about seeing yourself clearly and understanding both your value and that you're not the most important person in the world. Growing humility day by day can be difficult, especially when people care more about how things look than what they truly are. Try listening more and talking less, respecting what others think, and accepting that you don't always need to be correct. When you do well, give others credit. Being humble entails seeing and complimenting other people's accomplishments and excellent points. By doing this, we not only show we respect them, but we also learn to see how everyone brings something different and valuable. This helps us understand the value of how different everyone is, and that one person's success does not mean less for someone else. Being humble means admitting we don't know everything and sometimes need help from others with more experience or not. It's a sign of being strong, not weak. Being open to learning from others and working together strengthens both our relationships and our own progress. Being humble also requires thinking about our own behaviors, recognizing when we're wrong, and attempting to set things right, which is very important for self-improvement. This kind of honest self-check helps generate true confidence by identifying our strengths and flaws. Humility entails being grateful for what we have, for our friends and family, and for the possibilities that come our way. This thankfulness keeps us connected to other people and the world, making us feel like we're part of a wider community to some extent. Teen humble is a very crucial stoic quality for creating long-term confidence. It helps us appreciate ourselves without thinking too highly, learn from others and our surroundings, and treat people with respect and honesty. Growing humility makes us better people and contributes to a more loving, respectful, and connected world. Know and live by your personal values and views. Living in a way that reflects your most essential values leads to genuine and long-lasting confidence. It is not enough to simply know what you believe in, you must act on it on a daily basis. This includes being honest and genuine to oneself, which Stoics believe is highly vital. Epictetus once remarked that talking about doing the right thing isn't enough. You must actually do it. Personal values are really essential, they're like a compass that helps you choose and shape your life. Consider what values are most important to you, such as being honest and loyal. Brave or compassionate, decide out your key ideals and stick to them. Living with integrity entails doing and saying things that reflect your views and ideals. It's difficult to do this, especially when others push you to go against what you believe in. But every time you choose being true to yourself over taking the easy way out, you feel better about yourself you prove to yourself that your beliefs are real and important in your life by matching what you do with what you think is right. Turn in with small steps in your everyday life. If honesty is important to you, always speak the truth even when it's difficult. If you care about kindness, try to help others and be nice, even if no one sees it. Doing these small good things on a regular basis helps you become the person you want to be. Remember that following your values is an ongoing process, not a final goal. You may make mistakes along the way, but what matters is recognizing these mistakes and learning from them when you define and adhere to your own ideals. You not only gain confidence in yourself as you truly are, but you also become a role model for others. Staying true to your values is the key to a happy, purposeful and confident life. Living by your values means being truthful when you talk to people, keeping your promises and acting in a way that shows what matters to you. Matching what you do with what you believe not only makes you feel peaceful inside, but it also makes others trust you more. 
Also, being accountable for what you do and what happens as a result of it demonstrates your commitment to your beliefs by recognizing your mistakes and make thinking on your activities on a daily basis is incredibly essential since it helps you make sure you're living according to your principles. This regular self-check is an excellent way to continue growing and improving. Practice thankfulness. Practicing appreciation on a regular basis is an important part of developing stoicism and confidence. It's not just about being grateful for the great things in life, but also enjoying the tiny moments and best. Marcus Aurelius once remarked, when you wake up in the morning, consider what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. Begin each day by writing three things you're grateful for. It could be as simple as a sunny day, a decent cup of coffee, or the smile of a loved one. This technique redirects your focus from what you lack to what you have, encouraging a positive outlook. Gratitude also entails recognizing the efforts of others. Recognize the support and kindness you receive, whether it's from friends, family, or even strangers. Expressing your gratitude to them strengthens relationships and builds a supportive community around you. Another aspect of gratitude is appreciating the challenges you face. Rather than seeing them as obstacles, view them as opportunities to learn this approach not only builds resilience, but also deepens your awareness and respect. Brace learning and curiosity. Learning and curiosity confidence grows when you expand your knowledge and skills. A stoic approach to learning is not only about academic pursuit, but also about being curious about the world and yourself. Epicus stressed the significance of learning when he declared, only the educated are free. Make a commitment to learn something new every day, whether it's a fact, skill, or perspective. Continuous learning keeps your mind busy and engaged, making it easier to adjust to new conditions. Curiosity also involves being open to diverse points of view. Engage with individuals who have different experiences and this not only broadens your understanding, but also teaches you empathy and respect for variety. Remember, learning is a lifelong adventure. There is always something new to find, and each piece of knowledge adds to your confidence and wisdom. To summarize building self-confidence through stoicism involves practicing toughness, humility, and gratitude, living by your personal beliefs, and embracing continuous learning and curiosity. These principles guide you towards a more fulfilling, resilient, and confident life, where challenges are opportunities, and every moment is a chance to grow. And to summarize choosing and adhering to your personal values is essential for true and strong self-confidence because it guides you and gives your life me. Team by acting in accordance with your values, you improve yourself and have a positive impact on others. This dedication to your values leads to a satisfying and meaningful life full of confidence. You've made it to the conclusion of this lesson. If you liked our video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. This tells YouTube that people like you appreciate these videos, which helps us develop more videos like this in the future.